Maybe the dealer might watch this. What is up guys in today's video we have a little bit of a vlog with myself and my dude randy over at auto auction rebuilds i'm taking you guys around with us uh, as we take care of a couple different things and maybe maybe i'm buying a 3500 ram what uh-oh what is going on here it looks like randy's getting some exhaust work done on the cougar wow man it looks like you didn't get a lot of sleep <laughs> randy looks like you want to punch somebody in the face i haven't slept in almost a week okay so uh, are you done with this experiment yet with this fucking haunted house shit you're gonna get something else yeah, now hotel, right? okay that shit is crazy <laughs> that shit I thought you were going to do that a couple of days ago. Well, we, we tried to explain everything away. And then... Well, there's a logical explanation. So, so what exactly happened last night? Well, it wasn't nearly as crazy as I thought it was once I reviewed the camera footage. But Did the house, like, settle or something? No, no, no. So, guys... Uh, stay tuned to Randy's channel. I know he's going to drop a a, a a video on this house being haunted, man. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Oh, now we're going to try to get this mercury off. Give it in the shop. I thought about the tilt trailer. I kind of like mine, though. But I mean, I see the benefit of the, of the tilt trailer for sure. Keeps me, it would keep me from having to put the damn ramps and stuff out, but it is what it is. That car is leaking something. What's up guys welcome on back to tk's garage if you haven't figured it out yet not gonna video out with uh randy over from auto auction rebuilds today we were down here in norman um dropping he was dropping off a mercury cougar which you've probably seen over on his channel to get some exhaust work done and now we're heading on up to david stanley and uh we're gonna look at a gold i forget what they call it it's some kind of gold edition hellcat and I might look at a 3500 Ram. Now, I know you might say, what does that mean for the scat pack? Well, we'll see. All right, guys. So we are out here at David Stanley Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Yes, the green monster is looking a little dirty. It is. But we might be getting rid of the green monster today, being that we have the Hellcat. Hello. How you doing? Oh man, you can't walk around a lot without the vultures coming and descending on you. I don't know, man. This one's got a 6.4 liter in it. It's not a diesel. All right. Um, are you just gonna walk around? Randy's over here from Auto Auction Rebuilds. If you've been watching earlier in the video. Um, he is bringing his truck in 
for service. So we're gonna see what's going on with that. They can get it in? So you, did they tell you that this thing inside is a Hellcat or a Scat Pack? said it's a Hellcat. Gold Rush Edition? Scat Pack. 50th anniversary. That's what it looks Are like. Are you kidding me? We can look at it, but it, it looks like a Scat Pack to me. I see they got a 3500. Where? Out there? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, not a dually. That's rare. Yeah. That's rare. I'm, I might need, yeah, I might need that though. How much is this? Uh, Watch it be like 90. I mean, it's my truck, except with everything I don't have. Oh, it's leather yeah, with it's the 12 inch screen. It's probably a $75,000 truck. Yeah, I'd do it. I'd love to see the price tag though. With the wheels and everything on it? Yeah, I'd do that in a second, man. I do this in a second. Well, that screen is, uh, Beautiful, dude. That is when I tell you how much it made a difference in the ram, the regular ram. The only thing I don't like. What is that? Country. That's who did the lift. It's, 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 this is the uh, program for the uh, for the tires for the wheels. Ugh. Yeah. And they're moto metals. It's not like they're great. Oh, that's cool though. It's nice. It's a little too tall for towing for me. I don't know. This is this. <laughs> this is him all day. This is <laughs> <laughs> you me, see I this, need, right? I need something more practical. No. <laughs> too bad they don't have a, a sticker on it. Yeah, it's kind of a. I'd be interested. They don't have a sticker on anything anymore, do they? Uh, so they can they can see what you're willing to pay for it. Oh no, it's got the B on the side. It's got the, uh, what you call it? It's got the 275s on it. Yeah? Yeah, it's got the Super B on it. It's a 50, 50th anniversary, but it's an automatic. Boo! That's it? That's a charger. That's somebody else. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. They must have put a wrap on the. Yeah. I don't know, man. He told me they had the. Uh, the, uh, gold brush huh. Yeah. What? Huh? Yeah, 50th anniversary. Yeah, if that was a diesel, I would be all over that. But nah, man. Not with a gas motor, I can't do it. Damn, did they move that fucking thing? I guess so. It was right here. Maybe it was somebody else's truck. They never have 3500s out here. Really? No. You think they would, though? That's stupid. You would think. I, the, I can't find them. I've been even been oh. down by me. All the way to the rear. Okay. All the way in the back, so you have to walk to go look at them. Yeah. You would think trucks would be a big deal here. I mean, it's Oklahoma. It's like fucking Texas. Yeah. They, you know... I'm, I was surprised when you bought the Jeep that you didn't buy one of those fucking uh, Renegade, one of those pickup truck. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I hate that. That thing looks stupid, right? That's the dumbest looking Jeep I've ever seen. Woo! The Jeep is not a truck. I don't Woo! Know. Shit. It, it, it's hideous. People are in their feelings right it's now. <laughs> oh, hell no. Bright yellow. Fuck, is it supposed to be a cab? Wow, that's that's pretty rough. That's like cab, that's like bird shit yellow. Like who the fuck? 25, 25, 25, 25. So they ain't got no 35s, huh? I don't think so. That don't make no damn sense. <laughs> I'm over that shit. They supposed to have those in the window, right? Well, I don't know if they have to, but they used 
to it, you could come out here and they all had stickers so you knew what the MSRP was. Back window. Ah, okay, wow. Shit, 65,000. I paid like 38 for mine, 36 or 38 for mine. 38 grand? Yeah. Yeah, but you traded some in on with it, right? Yeah, but that was upside down. Damn. Yeah, like my, my cost was 38 grand. That That's not 65. Why is it 65? Oh, their prices went up. Double? I don't know. I don't want cloth seats, though. I can tell you that now. This is a layer of me. I got mine for under 40000 This is a layer of me here. And this one is 76. 76. Fuck, for four more grand more, I'm gonna get the one with the lift and fucking that one's 76. That's crazy. Let's see what this I all I fucking hate cloth seats, man. I'm not getting cloth seats, I'm just not doing it. This looks more of a base model. It is have the LED headlights or anything. Yep. I bet you that one's cheap. I mean, I'd get a 2500 if it's the right yeah, package. There it is. How much is 40. How much is that? 40. 40? 4x4. Four four. Oh, it's a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, this is a 4x4. Four four. So, so yours doesn't have the LED lights. No. So that's why. That's the difference. And it's got the regular... Oh, it's got the tiny screen. Fuck that. I can't do that. Because this is a base, this is base, base, base model. Why am I going to downgrade from top of the line to shit? I wouldn't call it shit. Huh? The scat pack, yeah. Is just a tuner or is it actually a bigger motor? Bigger motor. Really? Or it's an overtuned motor. Maybe it's an overtuned motor. Ah. But that transmission's a big deal. I don't know, man. I don't know. Sixty-four grand. What's up with this red one? Sixty-three. God, they just—they want too much money for some of these, man. That one for fifty-nine is nice. Which one's that? That well, white and the, just pointed that one the out, yeah. two-tone joint. You said it's fifty-nine. That's what she said. I didn't look the stickers. Yeah, fifty-nine, and they—you know—they may have a deal on it too. I don't know. Huh? Maybe it'll get a little less. And this is a limited Longhorn. Yeah, you got the LED lights too. Nah, this one says this says eighty-one. What did you see? This thing is clean. Mm. It's a dually. This one's only 58. That's, that's, that's a hell of a deal, man. Oh, it's got the shit. Um, no, nah, it's got the super small monitor. Yeah, she's a long bed. Looks like somebody hit this. No? I think it's just grease. All right, this ain't it, though. You sure? Yeah, no, because it had the bigger display. That doesn't have navigation. That ain't got navigation. This is a what? That's a 2500? That's a 2500? Well, fuck. Probably just came out here. Well, they got more down there. There's a 35 right here. Big son of a bitch, too. No, they said it had navigation. Remember? Maybe. Oh, this one doesn't have a bed. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Shit. 
Yeah. Hey, it's got leather seats. I don't care. It's sixty three thousand with no bed. With no bed. I mean, fuck. I'll just buy some shit of Copart and just throw a bed on it. <laughs> yeah. Got two tanks. Damn. That's got to be the. Uh, this has got to be the deep. The deep. Oh no, the diesel exhaust fluids over there. Yeah. So it's got how the yeah, fuck? It's got two tanks. So this thing is made to haul. And that's a big one. This is probably more like a reserve. And this is long though. Yeah, it's a big this one. isn't for like a short bed. It's a big one. So you could put whatever you want back yeah. here though. And this is leather seats. And they want sixty three for this one. I could do that. It's got the regular headlights on the front. Yeah, it's got no uh, no real frills. Black instead of chrome. I'd call it, well, I'd have to wrap. I don't know. If, it's got the clean certified idle shit. I don't know if I like that either. Like, that, that looks like it's supposed to be a commercial truck. I hope this dually is not the one. That little screen doesn't do nav, does it? No. Not if it's that little radio mine that mine does. Yeah, that's not, I figured one your size should. You still got to run it through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I wonder how much they just charge me to put one in, just switch out the, <laughs> how much the Uconnect would be. This right here could be it though. You see what I'm saying now? It's got that little... Oh, it does have compass. Really? Maybe that, that can't have nav, I man. I don't see how that's possible. I'd need a bigger screen. I can't do that. But for 58, I mean, I, I guess I could... I could... Uh, Four-wheel drive. I mean, it's... It's a tradesman. What's the seats? Are they leather? No. Oh, no. Yeah, I need leather seats. Which is going to add a grand, at least. And I need the screen, which is probably going to add another grand. Or two. So I'd be looking at like 62, 63. But still, like it's already jacked up. You know. That's a beast. See, the other reason, and I don't know, I don't, I don't need the dually. But the thing I like about, they got cheap tires on it too. Yeah, what the fuck? But the thing I like about the dually is when you're going down the road, people just get the fuck out of your way. Oh, yeah. Because they're just yeah. like, that thing's too big. Let me just move. When I had the 3500 Chevy, just bitches moved, man. Probably because my fenders it's were all broken, too. Trailer. That's what I'm it's thinking. Bigger, it's heavier. I could pull whatever I want. It's four-wheel drive, I think, four too, right? Yeah, it's a four by four. That big ass bed. Parking this thing. <laughs> I, I have trouble with mine, but I'm not the best driver anyway. But look at this. It's all the way in the spot and all the way up against the fence, and it's still sticking out the spot. Yeah. This would be a bitch going through a drive through, I can tell you that. Shit. Well. I don't know. Maybe they got another one. I doubt they'd have one in the showroom, though. Well, the other one did. These are 2500s. That's nice. So I don't. I wouldn't mind a 2500. I haven't had any major problems out of mine in 30,000 miles. See, but this is this is what they do, though, man. This bitch is 78. Yes, they, 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 the prices. That's why I told them, just give me a fucking base. Man. Yeah. I, I got wore out trying to find one that was a good price with good options. So I said, just give me some cheap, some cheap shit, and I'll be on my way. I don't. I think that Ram, mm, that 3500, man, that could be that could be my yeah, shit it's a right nice there. Truck. And you can always get it. You can always get seat covers. They make those cat skins. Yeah. Dodge uses those, I think, a lot of times uh, on their own shit. Yeah. So I just pay somebody to make me some custom seats. I'd wrap the truck too. I wouldn't leave it white. I'd have to wrap it, make it a different color. But yeah, that thing. Whoo! That bitch would be a beast. Yeah, that's, that's a nice truck. It's clean though. It does. It has the big screen. Yeah. Nice. The only thing it's missing is your leather. 
Yeah. 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 I thought the options on it were good. You get a nice little horsepower and torque boost compared to mine. <coughs> yeah. Tires would be a bitch, but. What do you guys think, man? You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments. Should I buy this truck? I think I want it. All right, guys, so we are heading back over. Randy's right here. Randy's watching me make really bad decisions today. <laughs> Better you than me. It's usually me. <laughs> But we're heading back over to David Stanley so Randy can pick up his truck and then I'm gonna be headed back over to Fowler Dodge. I'm not one to normally start shit, but um We're gonna go left. I'm not one to normally start shit, but I have to say I feel kind of disrespected by some shit that went on at David Stanley earlier today. You know, they had a truck in the in the showroom, which you saw earlier in the video, that the dude said was like 80 grand. And then he came back with a piece of paper that said it was 90, but he's gonna work out a crazy deal and give it to me for 80. And I was like, bitch, this is what, you know. And then I literally looked at, I, I, I literally looked at Ravonda and she was like, no. No, she said something else. But she, she, said, no. she said, fuck no, right? I think it, I think it was a hard she fuck said no. That out loud where he could hear it. And he was like, nope, never mind, I'm out. Yeah, he left. I'm he took fuck. the paper and he left. So, yeah, that was kind of fucked up. But, that said, I found a 3500 Dually, which you've probably seen here in the video at this point, for after rebates, incentives, and all that shit, for about 65. Uh, and a 3500 diesel, that's not bad. Considering I got the 12 inch screen, the only thing it doesn't have, I know, it doesn't have leather seats. And I know someone's gonna say, TK, you said you wanna go buy no shit without leather seats. Uh oh, that's a cop. Where are we going now? Or he's popping up, shooting motherfuckers. Anywho's, uh, we'll see what happens with it. Um, they are working on numbers now, so I'm going to go back over there and uh, see how much Vaseline I'm going to need. <laughs> but Brady's laughing because he knows. But, I know how dealers work. Man. Yeah. And that was the funny thing. He goes, I know you guys know how this goes. Yeah, and then he said he didn't know what a spot delivery was. That shocked me. When what? dude was like, you don't, hold on. I said, because I told him I'm not doing a spot delivery. I don't either. We want everything done today because I want to take this truck and be able to go to Houston and North Carolina and not have to come back here with no bullshit. And he told me he ain't never heard of a spot delivery. Ooh, that was kind of dealership, I suppose. Man. Woo. But he was ready. He's like, I'm gonna put a paper tag on it right now. We're gonna take your we'll take it in. We're gonna get you uh, some paperwork done and you can leave right No. Well he better understand when you say leave. Yeah, because I'm gonna you, be like that could be the other side of the country. Yeah, I'm gonna be like when I leave my the truck's not coming back. <laughs> this, this bitch is going to Fort Bragg. So if you if you tell me that the shit don't go through, you're shipping me my car. This one, I know y'all, oh, that's part of the deal. The scat pack, the green monster, is going to disappear. So I know some of y'all might not like that, but um, I mean, I, maybe the dealer might watch this. <laughs> I better not roast the clutch. It is a great car, though. It is, I've it enjoyed is. it, man. It is a great car, man. I've totally enjoyed it. I had this a car. Hellcat and I love this car. Yeah. They still put you back in your seat and everything. Like, yeah, the torque in this is stupid. Yeah, you don't have to have a Hellcat, man. No. This thing is great. No, the manual, the manual scat is a monster. Like, yeah. it, it'll fucking rip. Yeah. I, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. But, I don't know, man. I just like.
my trucks, man. I need, I, I need a big fucking diesel. And then I know someone is gonna snitch on me to the EPA, but you know the first thing I'm uh, doing. Nope, I don't have. A no, you have no clue. No. I'm gonna do something to the truck ASAP. And when it's done, we'll do a video on it, but not before, because I know, because <laughs> I know people be telling. But um, yes. No more blue fluid. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Something like that. I don't know. All yeah. I know is it's blue. Yeah. It's some blue stuff you got to put in it. I'm not. I'm I put not it doing in that. Mine all the time. I'm putting stacks right out the fucking um, right out the back, of, right out the uh, right out through the bed. You need to go meet up with Weston. He probably has some he could put on for you. Stacks. Yeah. Maybe I need to go back to Kansas. So, yeah, we need to do that. <coughs> I got to go see this very special shop that is in an undisclosed location <coughs> to delete that um, bullshit that they be putting on the trucks now so I can get better gas mileage, more power, and I can smoke out Priuses. So, uh, <laughs> you know, or the occasional. That's what everybody buys a diesel for. To smoke out, to right? smoke out Priuses. It's, it, it's like... I don't know, man. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a rite of passage. If you have a big, de you kind, you kind of yeah. have to roll next to the asshole in the Porsche that has his window down. I, I did it. Yeah, and then just mash yeah. the gas. You just have to do that it. Seven three power choke. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That thing roll call all the time. You talking about the the truck that went to uh, Superior, Superior Auto Flops? Superior Auto Dicks. Yeah. Yeah. Checked his channel the other day just because I forgot who he was. He's not doing videos. Anymore. Oh no, there's nothing. Yeah, they can't. They quit. He's gone. That's what happens when you do scumbag shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can't, you can't do that. You know. Rip, rip somebody off that could have helped you. Really they, make something, and you dude, rip them off and lose it. Dude could have been at like stupid 15, 20 thousand subs by now and yeah. been making decent money, but he fucked himself. So let that be a lesson. Over fucking, over a couple thousand dollars. Fucking dumbass. A couple thousand. I've spent more than that on ads. Yeah. Like, <laughs> stupid. Man. That's dumb. Scumbag, man. Is what it is. Straight scumbag. But we're almost over here to Tinker's, so we're going to get over here and get Randy over to get uh, his truck so he can pick up his other car from the shop. That went, what's that going to the auction or are you going to sell it? It's probably going to go to the auction. So we got a car going to the auction, but oh, I didn't. I got. I got to close this because I got to tell Randy about something else that we found. All right, we got Randy dropped off. He's going to get his truck. I'm gonna back out, and this might be the last time I get to drive the Green Monster. It all depends on what Chrysler comes back with on numbers on that dually. You know, if the numbers are right, I might be done with the Monster. I know, I know. I'm an idiot if I if I sell the green monster. But again, there's really no I, I've thought about it. It's fun. The scat pack is fun. I love it. But there's nothing to really do with having the Hellcat and having a scat pack. Like I get it. The scat pack could be my daily driver, but no, my 3500 Ram would be my daily driver. I, I don't know. We're gonna see. I still have to go over numbers and make sure that everything adds up for me to do the deal. Cause I'm not I'm not gonna just make a deal just because. That's just me. But we'll go from there and see what happens. But uh it's kind of bittersweet driving this car knowing that it might be gone. Alright guys, so it looks like we're gonna be taking delivery of this. We're getting the paperwork and stuff done now. Uh, so we'll get all that stuff done. I'm going in now to deal with that. So stay tuned. Not going to lie. It's going to be kind of sad to let this one go. But somebody will enjoy it. And then someone's going to be able to say, hey, I bought TK's scat pack. I bought TK's garage's car. All right, guys. So... We are leaving the dealership here at Fowler. Now, I'm a little disappointed in the situation that happened here. They changed the price on how much they were willing to offer the trade on the scat pack. Not once, but twice. And once in the finance office by itself. And then, uh, it just, I don't know, man. Like when you come in 
I just feel like it's a it's it's kind of a waste of time if you tell somebody this is the numbers I'm looking to do this is what I want to do I understand that the sales guy's job is to try to get you to the finance office but if I set firm and I told you this is what I'm willing to spend and you keep trying to be like oh no we need you to pay like 14 no offering 31 then 33 then 35,000 uh for the green monster in my opinion is is disrespectful especially being that you can't even get a scat pack now you can't order them the factories are shut down because they're short on resistors whatever the bullshit excuse is now why you can't get a hellcat scat pack nothing like that uh, only thing you can get are RTs and GTs, you know, or basically the ones that are manufactured in Mexico. So if your car is manufactured in Canada, like these ones are, uh, no, you're kind of SOL. But anywho's, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. I'll probably do a little bit more of a FaceTime part in this part of the video. I'm not going to roast or just talk shit. I'm not doing that. But it was the same thing as when we're sitting there and you saw me and Randy talking about it. The fact that the guy has been selling cars for a long time and he was a nice dude, but you don't know what a spot delivery is and you're a car dealer. That is massively concerning to me. How the hell do you not know what a spot delivery is? So it just, I don't know. It was just suspect. The, the, the whole situation at the dealership was suspect. So it is, it is what it is. That said, uh, Scat Pack is still on the channel and it's going to be that way. Um, I'm never going to let a dealer just finesse me out of 10 or 15 or 20 grand because they think they can get it. Nope. Not going to happen. So, anywho. So, anyways, guys, that's the story. If you happen to be in the greater Oklahoma City area, I'd say. You know, maybe Randy we might have the same recommendation. I'd say go to David Stanley and don't deal with Fowler. Only because, especially when you have somebody, you know, who's a wholesaler like myself or Randy. We're both sitting there. We both know how the car business works. And from not knowing what a spot delivery was to offering me, you know... $8,000 less than what the vehicle was. Look, I'm not opposed or upset about you trying to make money. I'm all for it. But when you try to take advantage or fuck over a customer, that's a, that's a dick move. And um, I, I can't, you know, I, I have a feeling, man, I've been eating orange Tic Tac today. Yeah. I have a feeling that you know they do this a lot at that dealership so that's why I'm saying what I'm saying um, spoiler though it's a couple of days later from that last clip of the video and um, I actually found another 3500 at a reasonable price same spec out as the one that I found at Fowler Dodge there in Oklahoma City and because I already have a relationship with that dealer, they're not going to try to fucking screw me over. Um, I just, I don't know. I guess maybe I'm shocked because they looked at what the social media profile of Randy was and then they looked at mine. And you would think that would give you pause not to do any stupid shit. I guess not. So anywho's, there it is. Um, don't mess with them. I said it. And they could be in their feelings all they want. Um, but I'm going to be honest about it. You know, I'm not telling you, you know, like, I don't want you guys to go, you know, give them bad ratings or anything like that. If you had a bad experience with them, I, the re this is the purpose of the video is that you don't deal with them so that you don't have to give them a bad rating. But for me, you know, that, that's just my customer experience. Um, you know, if they would have came a little bit more correct with me on what the vehicles are actually worth. You know, and if they would have been like, hey, look, we'll give you, you know, whatever. If they would have, it was just funny, man. Go, coming at 29000 for the Green Monster and then trying to offer me thirty one, and then thirty five, And Randy saw that part. was right in front of him. Like, like they came back with two numbers. And I was just like, look, man, 
I understand it's the negotiating numbers and all that bullshit, but when you know somebody is in the business, have the courtesy not to be a fucking idiot. Present what you can offer at the front, don't waste my fucking time, and that's it. You know, if we can't agree on numbers, we can just agree not to agree. We're just not going to agree on numbers, and I keep it moving. I don't have to waste your finance guys' time. You're not wasting my fucking time. I don't have to get, um, you know, extra inquiries on my shit because you didn't explain what I was trying to do to your finance department as far as trading in my scat pack. No, man. That was all bad. So, anywho's, um, stay tuned. There is a 3500 coming to the channel. You guys will get to see that um, soon. I'm, I'm dead set on it now. Now I want one. But I actually got one with the. See, I've heard it said multiple ways. Is it ASIN or ISIN transmission? So, anywho's, stay tuned for that. You guys will get to see that soon. Again, major salute to my dude Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds uh, for dropping in with me today in today's video. And. Um, you know, getting to roll around with him over there and checking out some of that weird stuff over at, at uh, David Stanley. David Stanley wasn't perfect either. I'm going to keep it a buck. You know, we were looking at a, a lifted truck in the showroom and they were like, oh, it's 80 grand. And then they came to me with numbers because they could see I was interested in it. And I think I might have talked about this earlier in the video. And then you go, oh, it's 90, but we can give it to you for 80. Get the fuck out of here, man. But... At least they didn't try to actually screw me on actual numbers. So it is what it is. I know Randy has a good relationship with them, so I'll let that be what it is. Fowler, though, you only got one time to fuck me over. You only got one time to... Not, I can't even say fuck me over. You only got one time to attempt to fuck me over before I don't fuck with you for business-wise, and I try to let everybody else know not to fuck with you either. So um, with that said, I hope you all have an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.